up my britches if you are new here hello my name is Brittany, and today we are here to talk all the new shit or all the shit about the new makeup products this is inspired from samantha march's will i buy it series we're just here we're having coffee today i have to work tonight just when i think i have my shit together i come and sit down and i'm like my camera is not even in front of me <laughs> i slid everything all packed up ready to go so i apologize for the delay but if you guys do like these videos, we come back every single Monday. We just talk all the new shit, or all the shit, about the new makeup releases. One of these days, I'll get it right, okay? So, today I'm eating some cotton candy grapes. <laughs> and I'm drinking my coffee. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. Yes, I have a couple casualties. This is why I don't do fake nails, guys. <laughs> so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And let's dive in. But before we get into the new makeup, we got to talk about, are you following me on Instagram? Are you guys following me on TikTok? If you're not, you should be. Because especially TikTok, I'm living my best life over there. But if you ever want to see like follow-ups from either looks I do in videos, if you want to see like a finished look, sort of a moment, sometimes I post my TikToks over on my Instagram. It's like my transitions and shit like that. I live in my best life. Okay, TikTok is where it's at. I've been doing lives on TikTok as well. So if you guys want more of me, <laughs> I was waiting for this comment. <laughs> I'm sun-kissed, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's dive into first the beauty news. We have a couple of new things. First thing is Kylie Cosmetics. Something's going on legally, as far as I know, with Kylie Cosmetics. I personally don't give a shit. I have heard that they used to use Seed Beauty, and now they're using Cody for their manufacturing, I'm thinking. I don't I don't know all the details. I'm sure there's videos on it, but I just, I never throw my money at the Jenner Kardashians. The new KKW palette, though, has me looking, because <laughs> I'm like, that color story is everything. I did show the Sydney Grace Temptalia palettes on my Instagram today, too, on my Insta story. Guys, those palettes are so beautiful. I got them so quick. So those videos will be coming. But this Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics, something is coming. I feel like we've seen this picture for a, a while now, but it says coming soon in July. We'll keep you posted. But they're supposed to be rebranding. It will include... Oh, eating is probably a terrible idea for this video. Um, Includes matte lipsticks, lip liners, and more. Vegan, cruelty-free. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I'm not going to pretend like I do. Kylie Cosmetics never interested me, really, at all, initially. I mean, I'll keep my eyes for the rebrand, but I'm not, I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. And then we have a new brand. New brand, where is this at? Trace, Lu Trace Luce? I'm probably butchering that, I'm sorry. It's by Becky G, I'm not sure who she is. Let's see, inspired by... Latin culture and made for all cruelty free vegan conscious formulas. Becky G is giving us a sneak peek. Will be available June twenty fifth on their website. I don't know what to expect. I don't know who Becky G is. I feel like we've seen a collab with her. Didn't she collab with ColourPop? Was that where I'm remembering her from? I don't know. I'll keep my. I'm, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. But I'm like, I don't really know. I don't really know what to expect, but new brand, that's always exciting. I'm always here for it with new brand just because it keeps everything nice and spicy. Like, ooh, what's coming? You know? Okay, so let's get into new makeup releases. I'll keep you guys posted in future videos if we see anything from that brand specifically. Let's see. What do we have? Okay, I, <laughs> I have seen so many. Oh, you guys are having issues with the live? Shocker. YouTube hates my life. It's okay. I apologize. Try closing it out and then maybe coming back. Maybe that will help. But I got tagged so many times in this sugar drizzle polish. They launched multi-chrome eyeliners. I didn't pick these up yet because I look at these and I'm like, are you really going to be able to, to see it? You know what I'm saying? I'll be very curious to see videos on these because I'm sure some... A YouTube creator has to have purchased these, you know? So they're already offering a third... I don't know if they're doing, like, a pre-order because they keep basically bringing them back and then selling out. 
These are sold on Etsy, I'm pretty sure. So this brand I've never even heard of before. I just got so many damn tags because y'all know how I feel about my, uh, you know, multi-chromes. <laughs> so I'm like, she has my attention, but I did not pick those up. Okay, so she did have a collab with ColourPop. That's, okay. Angelica said she thinks she's a singer. Huh. I'll keep my eyes peeled on that. So these, did anybody pick these up? I'm very, I'm curious, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm necessarily sold. And then, I don't know. I just haven't heard enough about the brand either. So I'm like, okay, cute, different. I feel like we haven't seen those before. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. If you guys see a video, please like tag me or send it to me because I would love that because I obviously can't catch everything that comes up on YouTube. You guys always come through for me in the Instagram DMs. Next one is new from Makeup Forever. It looks like they're doing brow products. Let's see if we got any info. Looks like brow pencils, like a brow pomade maybe. It almost looks like, I always think of Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it looks like something like the brow is, the brow definer, the brow gel. Do we have a pomade? I thought I saw one. Aqua Resist Smoky Eyeshadow. Aqua Resist looks like color pencil. There's no information like on uh, Tavia's post. But it just looks like they're coming out with brow products. I am never like losing my shit whenever like brands are coming out with brow products because it's like it's never exciting because it's always like they're the same but makeup forever I feel like is a brand targeted towards makeup artists so I always in my head I'm like oh their products are gonna be really good <laughs> but I usually never end up buying them so I'm like all right maybe if I see them in store if I run out I'm currently using the refi I think it's called refi eyebrow pencil and the huda beauty bomb brows I love those damn pencils so these ones, I'm like, I ain't losing my shit, but it's like if I need something and I see it in store or something, I would grab it. And they, I'm, I'm pretty sure the price point's not going to be that bad. And then, guys, these highlighters, I'm just like, bitch, fuck me up. The Dior. I, I've talked about these in previous videos, but I'm like, it seems like they're getting closer to launching. And I'm going to buy at least, I'll probably get like one because I feel like, okay, so this formula is supposed to be a more intense version of their luminizers. And I already feel like their illuminators are like blinding. They look beautiful on the skin. They're flattering on texture. So I'm curious to see on this formula. But Tavia posted swatches and I'm over here just like, Dior, take all of my fucking money. That pink one is just speaking to me. I think I'm going to end up getting either the light pink one or the deeper pink one. Just so it's something a little bit different because it's like all these shades are nothing different. I think the formula is what is going to be so different, but I'm like, I love the packaging. I love the aesthetic. Dior is one of my favorite brands because of how beautiful they look on my texture. It's just they fucking nail it. And look at these swatches like that one on the top is so beautiful. I feel like I have something like it already in my collection. That's where I'm just, I'll probably pick up one initially just to see like what the formula looks like. And then if I lose my shit, then I'll end up getting more. But I'm over here like, all right, Dior is just going to take all my money as per usual. I love their products and that's that on that. So I've talked about those in depth before and I just keep reiterating how excited I am for those because I love a good blinding highlighter. It just is what it is. Then we have... One of my new bays, NARS. Mm, 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 mm. So they're already sneaking fall and I'm not ready. I'm not ready for fall makeup yet, okay? But since I was so impressed with the summer solstice, the uninhibited, those nine pan eyeshadow palettes are fucking fire. So when I seen this one, I'm just like, yup, gonna buy it. Yep, no question. 100% gonna buy the palette. I don't love the packaging aspect. Like, I don't love the red. It's just, like, it's kind of a letdown going from, like, Summer Solstice and Uninhibited. Going to this, I'm just like... Y'all yeah, really could have done a little bit better than that, guys. <laughs> but I'm like, the color story... The color story looks so fucking beautiful. So I'm over here like... Yep. Then there's, I think, an eyeliner... The Climax Liquid Eyeliner will be accompanied by the Climax Eyeshadow Luxury 9 Color Eye Palette. Needless to say, it will be a limited edition release for this palette. I'll be curious to see where this launches, but I'm not going to get the eyeliner. I hate felt tip liners. I only like brush tip. 
the greens and like the eggplant oh bitch fuck me all the way up i love it i just i love it especially for fall this is so appropriate i'm just yep take my money i'm sure it's gonna be like 50 bucks take my money in ours i'm here for it i am fucking with you then we have fenty i haven't been interested in fenty like, I'm not ever, like, losing my shit. I'm not like, oh my god, I need to go out and buy it. It's always like, uh, I see it in store, and I hear, like, a bunch of hype about their products, so I buy it. And then I never really end up liking their stuff. That's, that's, the, that's what happened to me with the skin tint. So they're coming out with a new gloss bomb. It's the gloss bomb heat. This shade looks beautiful. So the gloss bomb is former, formerly one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. It has since been replaced by Pat McGrath, Scott Barnes, Lisa Eldridge. Those lip glosses are quickly becoming favorites in my collection, but Fenty, they had me for a long time with the gloss palm. I love like the scent, but this one I'm sure it's going to have like a cherry scent to it. Gives your lips an instant plump job. I don't need that because I got lip fillers. <laughs> But it gives your lips an instant plump job and a wet looking shine with a hint of hot cherry. I feel like, am I losing my shit? Like, didn't they do this already? So this formula, like, I feel like this is going to be more like the cream. Because there's the gloss bomb and then there's like the gloss bomb cream. And the cream has more like pigmentation to it. I just feel like we've seen a shade that looks just like this, but maybe it's slightly different. I don't know. I'm just over here like, I just, oh, I don't get excited about Fenty anymore. I used to when they first launched and then I just not have had the best luck with their products and they don't really react that well with my skin. It's just one of those things, man. Like I want to love Fenty because I know a lot of people really like their products or a great price point, but I just, I'm favorable towards other brands. Oh, well, this is sad. If you have the Tower 28 Red Juicy Gloss, you don't need this Fenty one. I feel like, too, I know Dior came out with, like, a bright cherry lip gloss as well. I would be more likely to buy that. I'm biased towards Dior, though. <laughs> and this is the other thing. Like, I don't really fuck with dark glosses like that. I just, I always think it's going to get my hair in it, and then it's going to be all over my face. That is, that's why I always stay away. I love, like, a more sheer coverage, like, almost like champagne, gold. Like, the ones that, if it gets on your face, you're not going to really see it. That's more of my vibe when it comes to lip glosses. I, I can't with these fingers right now. And then, what do we have next? I feel like I'm blazing through these, but I'm like, I feel like you guys get it by now with how I usually feel about products. And then Kay Alley is dropping another new fragrance, and I'm so here for it. I didn't get their last one yet, because I'm like, I'm about this close to purchasing a shit ton of perfumes, because I'm just in a perfume frenzy right now. I don't know what it is, but it's just a thing. So they're launching the new Utopian Vanilla Cocoa. A tropical, sexy vacation in a bottle. Listen, Huda and Mona have their shit together when it comes to the marketing of their products. Because top notes are honeysuckle, pear blossom, Italian lemon, and coconut milk. The middle notes is jasmine, sambac, gardenia, tuberose. I'm probably pronouncing all this wrong, guys. I'm sorry. Ambrette. And then the dry notes are sandalwood, patchouli, heart, vanilla bourbon, and musk. Price is $100 for a 50 milliliter. You can use code HOTFIRE for 10% off. I think these are already available. I just, I fucking love the aesthetic of Kaylee. I think it just looks so beautiful, so aesthetic. Like, I could just picture their fragrances on my vanity. And I don't know, for some reason, I don't know why I haven't bought any recently. I remember I used to love the vanilla, the musk, and the citrus. I, I think... I've tried, like, the initial four. Elixir wasn't my favorite. But this, by the notes, I think my mom would really like this. Because my mom, I always think of, remember Bath & Body Works Honeysuckle? That was one of her favorites. And the fact that that's a top note, I'm like, oh, maybe mom would like this. <laughs> but by the notes, I'm like, I just want to smell it. I think it's going to be a different type of vibe for my collection. I wonder if they're going to launch a smaller version. Because if they launch a smaller version, I would get that first. How have we not invented smell vision yet? 
I'm waiting. Like, I feel like Willy Wonka put it out into the universe. And it just hasn't happened yet for some reason. And I'm confused why. Right? Anybody else? I'm like, why don't I have scratch and sniff on my phone yet? I'm sure it's coming though. But Kay Ellie, I'm always interested when they launch new fragrance. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. And then we have Laneige. I was like, oh man, I would have jumped all over this. Peach iced tea in their lip sleeping mask. I don't really love... It's so ironic that I say this because I love me a good sex on the beach. Peach schnapps. Woo! Love it. But I'm very particular about my peach. Because I always feel like... Oh, it's thunder. I'm like, what is happening outside? I feel like there's something about peach, like, if it's so artificial, it's like, no. It has to be just right. I would be curious to smell this, but I'm like, peach iced tea, that sounds like it would smell good. This is a fantastic formula if you have dry lips. One of the faves. Oh, Makeup with Michelle is here! Hey, girl, hey! Hey, girl, hey! <laughs> She's probably been here the whole fucking time and I'm just realizing. <laughs> So this one, initially I'm like, I'm probably not going to get it. $22, a leave-on lip mask that soothes, moisturizes for a smoother, more supple lips overnight. I like this for overnight, but I also like this just on a day-to-day -day for a lip balm. But the only downfall is you have to like dig your finger into it. Do these come with a spatula yet? When I purchased it, it was a while ago. It was like when they first launched, I feel. I feel like this should come with a spatula if it doesn't. But... I do like the formula. I think the original and the green apple were like my favorite ones. But it is really nice. If you have dry lips, definitely a product you should keep your eyes peeled for. Now we have Pharmacy. Pharmacy actually performs really well on my skin. I have their Hyaluronic Acid and I also have their Honeymoon Glow. So this is the Honeymoon Glow Body. I almost said Body Glow. It's a 12% AHA and BHA resurfacing body serum. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like I'm like initially I'm like I will fly through that shit because I'll just want to put it on my whole body. I would be curious to try this on like my chest area and my back. So it's a visibly resurfacing hydrating body serum that softens rough areas and targets bumps with a 10% lactic acid, 2% BHA, quickly del delivering visibly smooth glowing skin. Improves the look of bumpy, uneven tone, rough, dull skin. Okay, this would be something I would do for, like, right here. I thought this would have, like, salicylic acid in it. That's why I thought my back, because your girl has back knee. The only thing that really helps my back knee recently is the sun. But I'm like, I need to figure something out. Improves the look of bump. Oh, I already read that. $40. Oh, so it does have some salicylic acid in it. I don't... I don't know... I won't get this. I, in my mind, I'm like, I feel like I would like this, but I'm like, do I want to justify $40 on a body product and add another step? No. I don't want to add another fucking step into my routine. Uh-uh. So I'm initially like, all right. I'll keep my eyes peeled if I hear, like, glowing reviews about it, but... Nah, I think that's going to be enough for me. I'm sure it's coming to Sephora. Actually, you know what? Is far Pharmacy, are are they at Ulta now? No, I'm thinking fresh. So it'll probably come to Sephora. Next one is Spectrum Collections. And they're collaborating with Mish Keegan. I'm not sure who that is. Inspired by the adventure and easy elegance of Italy's Amalfi Coast. I'm, I'm so bad at pronouncing. I'm sorry. Gives you that summer state of mind. Eat set includes six complex, wow, six complexion brushes, a soft mattifying puff, citrus sharp pencil sharpener. Oh my god! <laughs> An SPF packed with, <laughs> packed in a luxe two tier color block, faux croc case for seventy two dollars. That was such a mouthful. I don't even. Here's my thing: when I read stuff, I don't retain what I read. Reading all of that together, it just went poof, right out the brain. So let's look at these. So it, it's like, there's like a little collection, right? It's got like, they're all color coordinated. That's super cute. This is not something for me. 
I feel like Spectrum is a brand they always like catch my attention with certain things and I'm like, eh, no, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. Like, these are cute. I feel like this would be cute for travel, but I, I like really like those bags. I think they're super cute. The white, that's just, no, I would destroy that. Right, these are cute. A coconut lip sorbet balm. It, like, it's cute. I can appreciate it. It looks like something ColourPop would do, don't it? I'm not interested. That's all I can really say about it. I'm like, it might be appealing towards some people, but not for me. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, you're going to try the pharmacy for your arms? Yeah, like, I could see that being, yeah, like, for me, I think, because I get really uneven, like, on my chest usually. I think that's really the only area that I would be like, yeah, let's try that. <laughs> but then I'm like, no, no. <laughs> then we have Too Faced. Wow. Staying super relevant, Too Faced. Good job. Too Faced, the brow product, brow wig. For the fluffy or full fluffy filled in look of naturally lush brows, the brow wig. Brush on hair, fluffy brow. I feel like I just repeated myself like four times with reading that statement. Pomade and a pencil, brow shaper and filler, and then the brow wig is basically like a brow gel. Why can't we just simplify things, okay? Like, packaging looks cute. It's like classic Too Faced. It looks like the Better Than Sex mascara, how it's got like the... It's almost like a brushed looking pink. Looks super cute. Too Faced, though? Wow, how the mighty have fallen, in my humble opinion, because I am forever bored with Too Faced. Like, I don't even want to spend any more time because I'm just like, is this supposed to get my rocks off when it comes to Too Faced? No. No. They could do just so much better. They need to, like, refine their potential because I don't know. I don't understand them. Then we have the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder by NYX Cosmetics. I'm not really like crazy into powders and when I am I'm more into loose powders because I really like to use powders to fill in this area right here but this offers a sheer lightweight coverage to deliver all day matte finish for a smoother looking skin infused with oil absorbing rice powder non-drying non no transfer powder for normal to oily skin coming soon June on their website and retailers I'm sure this will come to Ulta I have never had the best luck with NYX complexion products. I feel like the only products that I ever really love from them are their lip products. So I'm just, I know like NYX does really well on TikTok and I'm like, it's so interesting how the worlds of social media are so different. Like the shit that trends on TikTok, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait, people were talking about this product, like, years ago? And it's just, like, the most random shit. And then, of course, it, like, when people rave about it, it sells out and it just creates this hype. It's just so interesting being on YouTube, TikTok, and just seeing how the worlds just kind of overlap. It's so, it's so interesting. <laughs> the Can't Stop, Won't Stop line is not for dry skin at all. This has got me an for me. I'm just, no. No. I'll keep my eyes peeled for reviews, but I'm also not going to go, like, out of my way to find them. I'm like, all right. BH catches my attention from time to time. These palettes are fucking cute. At least, like, the eyeshadow palettes. But the top one gives me, like, the blueberry, the blueberry muffin vibe. So you've got the travel series. It's back. New destinations. We've got the Passion in Paris eyeshadow palette. It's 16 shades. Mix of romantic deep berries and cool tones match shimmery and metallic finishes. Party in Puerto Rico, 16 shades of vibrant oranges, reds, pinks, matte shimmery metallic finishes. Then you have the Tanned and Tullum Face Palette. Right? It's pronounced Tullum, right? I think so. Six shades of bronzers and highlighters. You can also, also mix the shades to create... Okay, no shit, trend mode. Come on. <laughs> you can also mix the shades. Packaging... Not my favorite, simply because, I mean, it obviously, like, goes with it, but it just looks, like, cheap to me. It, I don't know, I think that's what it is. Like, BH Cosmetics, I think, for me, is still an excellent eyeshadow palette company. Like, they have great products for a really good price. So it's more of, like, 
if you're a beginner with makeup, this is where I would suggest you start. Like BH Cosmetics, ColourPop. Since I'm more experienced with makeup, since I just have different preferences, like packaging is a big thing for me. That's where I'm just like, I don't think I'm going to reach for this. I'm going to reach for something that has more of the like factors that I look for. But I'm like, the color story, the color story is really fucking cute, but they have, I just thought this was unnecessary. BH shadows have become fire. They definitely changed something in a good way because I feel like back in the day, BH was always like fine, passable, a great place to start. I, I remember seeing like Carly Bible. She did like a, if you're like just becoming a makeup artist, she always recommended BH Cosmetics. I think she collabed with them back in the day. But since then, like over the years, they have progressively gotten better. So it's like, you're going to get more than likely a bomb ass formula for a bomb ass price point. So I'm not mad at this. It's just not for me. And that's okay. Just because it doesn't have the certain factors that I look for. But I'm like, this color story, beautiful. Color story, beautiful. Especially spring and summer. I'm here for it. It's got the mixture of textures. Like, it has, it has certain things that I look for. But I'm like, it's just missing that more, like, high-end factor that I look for. Because I want my makeup to be, like, a whole-ass experience. The... Bronzer palette is not my favorite. I feel like it's almost like too warm for my liking. Like I love a good bronzer, but when I have four shades like that, I like to have a variety. That way you can kind of customize your shade a little bit more. But when it's that warm, I'm just like, I don't think I needed four shades. So I don't think this would be one that I would get. And I haven't heard the best things about their face palettes. It's their eyeshadow palettes that I feel like I hear a lot of hype over. But I'm like, all right, I'm not going to hate this. I'm not going to trash on it. I'm just like, it's just not for me. But I think that if these color stories are appealing to you, this would probably be worth the money. That's just based off of my experience with BH Cosmetics. I think they have a really, really great, especially eyeshadow formula. And then I still have yet to try this brand. We have Naturium Skin. New products for the lips. The Phyto Glow Lip Balms. I feel so overwhelmed with lip balms right now. Like, I feel like there's so many coming out. 100% plant-derived. Okay, people are going to love that shit. Plant-derived esters that nourish and smooth the lips by locking in long-lasting moisture, give a plush, cushiony feel with a high shine, making lips feel and look fuller. Enriched with shea butter. Capuchu. Capuchu? I <laughs> People must think I'm an idiot. Capuchu? Capuch? I don't know. Butter. <laughs> squalling for soft, smooth, and supple lips with a glowy finish and natural vanilla flavor. Alright, I'm here for that. This isn't a brand that I've tried before, like I said. It's just, it's a lip balm. How much is this? 12 bucks. Not a bad price point. Cute packaging, but I will say, I wouldn't buy this just because of the packaging. Because I hate these types of applicators. Especially, like... For concealers and lip balms, I'm like, I just, I always over apply it. I always feel like I'm wasting product or I get like, just, it gets everywhere. That's the only aspect that I don't like about it. Right? I don't know. I'm just like, okay, cute. I just feel very overwhelmed with lip balms. Like there's so fucking many, man. And then we have Elf Cosmetics. They're launching. I feel like, did we, t I think we talked about these this last week. Because it's available now, just dropped. The Putty Bronzers. This is another brand. I'm like, I don't doubt that these are probably decent, but I've just never had the best luck with e.l.f. Cosmetics. Like, the only palette that I've ever really loved from them was the J. Kissa palette. But I never reach for it. I don't... Do I still have it? I might have even decluttered it. But they're eight shades for $6. This is another one. It's like, it's a good price point. You're probably going to get a good product. But I'm just like... Nah, I'll stick to what I know that I like with the brands that I know that I like, but I, do, I like, I get it. I get why these products are so appealing because they're so affordable. It's just for me, I'm like, I know I'm going to sit there and be like, this packaging is so cheap. I, I know everything that I'm going to criticize about it. And I'm at the point too, like, I always feel like I would be on the hunt for amazing drugstore products and I would always feel like I would just be... 
And, like, occasionally you would find the gem. I feel like I said this last week, too. You find the gem occasionally, but more times than not, I'm like, I would just rather spend my money on something that's a little bit more expensive and it should blow me away. You know? Not saying that these couldn't or that drugstore products couldn't, but more times than not for me, by my experience, it's like I'm always underwhelmed or I'm always still looking for the next best one. I hope that makes sense. That's just where I'm at. Then we have a brand that I'm never interested in, but I'm like, all right. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles. It's a collaboration with, I believe it's her niece, correct? The Candy Skies Collection. Oh, I forget what, I forget what her niece's name is. Does it say on here? No, it doesn't. But I'm pretty sure it's the collaboration with her niece. It's the Candy Skies Eyeshadow Palette for $45. Then there's two glosses for $16 each or $24 for the bundle. You get e-bug and then strawberry. Full collection is $59. Available tomorrow at 10 a.m. This is already available because this was three days ago. I look at this palette though and I'm like, I could get down with this. I would, like, when I look at this picture here, I'm like, no. But when I look at this picture here, I'm like, yes. There's just something interesting to me about this color story. I like how, like, I like how it's structured because I feel like you could work in, like, little quads and the shadows will almost, like, go together. And I feel like the undertones and just, like, the overall color story is unique. I don't know. It's very pleasing to my eye, if that makes sense. Yeah, that video is doing that palette no favors. I would be curious because I've never tried this brand before. I remember I got like the pressed pigment palette. I'm like, I just want to know. Let me know, guys. Have, if you've tried Laura Lee, how similar is it to Lunar Beauty? Because I feel like they always remind me of each other. Like, if I looked at this quickly, I feel like I could potentially mistake this for Lunar Beauty. And the reason I say that is just, like, knowing almost, like, the history. I feel like they use, like, the same lab or something. I don't know. It just seems like I'm over here like, wait. I don't know. I'm very curious to know how similar they are. So if you've tried anything, I'm curious. But I'm like, listen, that palette, that palette's cute, but her video's not doing me any favors. That picture is what saves me. That's just the interesting aspect of, like, Instagram, too. Sometimes just one picture can change your mind. And then we have Hourglass. Hourglass is doing little custom palettes. And I'm very curious because I've never tried their eyeshadows. So something new is coming from Hourglass. Looks like a single eyeshadows and then the palette. So you can customize your own perfect palette. I love this idea. I can only imagine how expensive it's going to be, though. I don't know if I love the, like, overall aesthetic, how it's, like, the oddly shaped pans. I feel like that's probably going to be a major critique. I want to see what the palette, like, the outside of the palette looks like. Hourglass is honestly just a brand I'm always interested because of how I feel about their powders. They look so good on my skin. <sighs> I'm just like... It's, it's interesting. I'm not going to say like anything more just because it's like, all right, I want to see how many shadows they have, the variety of colors. It's just like, all right, so you could do custom palettes, but I'm like, you could do that with a lot of different brands too. And like, are you going to beat out my makeup geek though? <laughs> see, I wasn't the only one, not going to lie. I was surprised by that palette, the Laura Lee, right? I'm like, I have never been interested in her products until that one. And I'm just like, um... So the hourglass one, I'm going to keep my, you know, I'll keep my eyes on it, but I don't think I'll end up getting this because there's so many palettes. <laughs> I need to declutter again. Do you guys want to watch another declutter series? Because I need to again, badly. All right, then we have Oma Beauty. It looks like they're doing almost like a, an off, a sister company, if that makes sense. Like, okay, the new Oma by Sharon C., an inclusive sister brand to the Oma Beauty. I'm always confused when that happens because I'm like, why would it... Like, why do we need it? It's almost like an Anastasia Beverly Hills doing the Norvina. It's like, why? 
But, well, I, I shouldn't say that because I feel like the Norvina made sense because it's like a whole different aesthetic. This looks like exactly what they already do. So let's see. An ingredient conscious, eco-friendly, vegan, cruelty-free brand that is centered around care. So, oh, okay. This makes sense. Skin care, self-care, soul care, care for our planet, care for our furry friends, and care for all. Makeup and skincare with affordable prices that made with naturally derived ingredients and sustainable packaging. In my mind, I'm just like, so why, <laughs> why doesn't Oma Beauty do all this? That's just initially, I, I don't know if they already do, but I'm like, if you're going to make this like whole, like sister brand, I don't know, it, just, it, it almost like kind of makes oh, you look at Oma Beauty a little bit different because it's like, well, if this is doing it, why isn't this doing it? I don't know. That's just it, without looking into the brands because I'm not really familiar with Oma. I know like what brand it is. I've seen their products before, but I've never tried it. So there's a cleansing oil, a two-in-one water activated cleansing wipes. We've got a super natural, super natural glow uh, serum. Let's see, flawless R I R L skin perfecting foundation. It's complement. Wow, I cannot. I'm like reading this and I'm not processing it. It's complicated lip tint and oil. Uh, volumizing mascara. So like they're coming out. I don't know. I'm very confused by this. Who's Sharon C? I want to know who Sharon is. I'm like, packaging looks cute. I love the idea, like, behind everything. Like, you want it to be, like, more eco-friendly and shit like that. Like, that, all that's awesome. It's just like, but what's the difference? What's the difference between the brands? Why didn't just Oma Beauty do this? How do you guys feel? Am I the only one that's like, wait, what? That's kind of how I feel when, I, when I'm, like, looking through all this. I could see if it was only skincare. It's like bringing in the makeup aspect. That's where I'm like, wait. <laughs> I just saw OK Tower 28 lip gloss. <laughs> I thought the same thing. I'm like, that looks a little familiar, but it's... So many brands do that packaging. I feel like Nabla uh, has the same type of packaging for their lip products. Like, I'm not like losing my shit. This would be another one. Like, if I saw it in store, I would entertain it. But it just seems very weird. No, I'm just, I'm going to keep it moving. I, I just really don't have much to say. That's all I got. Then we have Matt Cosmetics. I'm not going to lie. This palette did catch my attention a little bit. I saw it available on Macy's already, this whole collection. The new Botanic Panic collection. You've got the eyeshadow palette for $50. Extra Dimension Skin Finish for $31. Lipsticks for $21. <sighs> I just feel like we always see the same shit over and over and over again. But this palette has my attention just because I think it's, again, pleasing to the eye. But is this something that I'm going to buy? Probably not because I don't think that I'll ever use it. Those swatches are doing absolutely nothing for me. I don't know. Like, I think I'm still salty about the last collection that I purchased from MAC because I was so unimpressed with the packaging. I'm just like, it just feels like they've gone... And I'm like, I just keep waiting. I keep waiting for something to get me really, really excited and me to be, like, blown away by, but I'm just not there yet. Oh, Marianne said the Oma by Sharon C is sold at Walmart. Yes, I did see that. I don't know. Like, this matte collection, I'm like, okay, it's cute, but I'm not gonna buy it. It's probably re-promos like they always do. It's just, like, the only thing that I feel that MAC does is just change their packaging, and that's just not enough for me. Like, that's really cute. I do like that. But I'm like, no. 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 Not for $50 either. No. Then we have Bobby Brown. These, I don't know why. Like, these are just catching my attention. I haven't purchased them yet, but I'm like, it just looks so pleasing to me. That's like the theme this week. Pleasing to my eyes. <laughs> so you've got these highlighter blush duos. They're $48.30. Lux eyeshadows for $38.70. Such odd price points, but whatever. These just look like Bobbi Brown. I feel like we've seen these before. They don't look like anything extraordinary. The packaging's cute. I'm not going to buy a single shadow for Bobbi Brown. I'm just not going to do it. 
what has my attention though is those like little cheek cheek duos i'm gonna call them but am i gonna buy them no lip product oh it's the extra lip tint in the shade bare nectar like that just it looks so beautiful right there and i'm just like i don't fucking need this <laughs> I don't need it, but I could appreciate that it looks real fucking cute. And that's all, that's where I'm going to leave it. And then we have M Cosmetics that stays coming for me. M Cosmetics is just like, Brittany, what can we do to make you buy something? Because this is my favorite palette that they've done. It's not anything extraordinary. It's not anything revolutionary. If anything, it looks so fucking basic. But I low-key love it. It just, it looks like, I think what's so interesting to me about N Cosmetics is I think their products are going to be so flattering. It's going to be like the, I just casually put myself together. So I think I'm going to be almost like underwhelmed, but then I'm going to get crazy compliments on my makeup. I feel, I don't know, they just give me like the luxury vibes and I'm here for it. Available June 24th, so in three days. An elegant mosaic of shades inspired by the romantic city of Venice, Italy. Every shade was crafted carefully to represent a special part of the city for $40. This just looks like an appealing color story for me to, for just like a basic bitch. And then that picture, I'm just like, yeah, it's, it doesn't look like anything extravagant. And I think that I would, I think that I would love it. <laughs> I really want to try those cushion highlighters because they look so pretty. Carol says I'm late. Hi. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have tried anything from M Cosmetics, but I'm, I'm always just like the models just look stunning. Beautiful. Very Michelle Fawn-esque as well because she's like minimal makeup, almost like your skin but better sort of a vibe glass skin like it's just an overall aesthetic that I like because it's flattering for me so I'm like maybe I'll buy it but I could easily like overlook it as well and then it wouldn't be a new makeup releases without some color pop but you know what I ain't mad at this one though <laughs> so this is what's so funny to me about color pop is like I'll usually be like nope no no yes no no <laughs> They get me every so often. So this is the new Lush Life Collection. Tropics inspired by ColourPop. 12 pan eyeshadow palette for 18 bucks. Lux glosses for $8 each or 21 for the bundle. Cheek Dew serums for $7. Cream gel liners for $7. This looks very appealing to me. Available June 24th, so in three days. I don't know why I keep thinking of the Raw Beauty Christie palette though. I look at this and I'm like, I don't need it because I have that. And I think that the Raw Beauty Christie palette is fantastic. Like, across the board, consistent, it's good. It's not, like, my favorite thing ever, but I do really like that palette. So I'm like, the greens are what are catching my eye on this one. But it does look cute. Cheek dues, I'm like, this seems like it would be something very much up my alley. I just, I don't know, it's like... There's just something about ColourPop that I'm just like, nah, I don't, I don't want to get it. The Luxe glosses, they're not my fave. I've tried those before. They're like fine. They remind me of the Kylie, like the Kylie, uh, high glosses. I think, I'm pretty sure it's like the same packaging. Their gel liners, fantastic. Like one of my favorite products from ColourPop, but they're so inconsistent. Sometimes you get them, they're super creamy. Other times you get them, they're cracking in half and they're dry as fuck. That's... That's always what holds me back from ColourPop is you're always taking that risk buying from them of this could be amazing or it could be shit. And it's, it's not consistent like across the board. Like I could get it and it's amazing. And then this person will get the same product and it sucks. The inconsistency is what drives me crazy. So it's a, here's, I guess, a good way to help you guys understand where I come from is I feel like because they're so inconsistent, I'm always, like, holding back from saying, like, invest your money into this. It's not terrible, though, because of their price point. It's not a hefty price point. But you know what? $18 for a palette fucking matters to people. So it's like, I am always just like, it's always like I feel like I have to do this disclaimer of 
I mean, you always have to, but it's just like, I could get this same fucking thing and it'd be amazing and you can get it and it's trash. Just because I see those inconsistencies just in my purchases myself, I hope that makes sense. So it's always one of those things that I'm just like, ah, uh. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so I'm not the only one. Karis is kind of reminiscent. Yup. Okay, I see, I could see what you're saying. Uh, Robbie DeCristi is more grungy and this one's brighter. I could see that. Maybe they'd be like good, uh, like sister palettes. You know? Those eyeliners though, like those shades are cute. I do like those. But it's just that, yeah, it's just that inconsistency factor that really just bothers me. Because it's like, okay, every brand could be like that, but you don't notice it like you notice it with ColourPop. You know? So let's move on. Let me know what you guys think of that collection. And then I saw this. And I'm like, ooh, Nabla's taking over the trend mood box again. And these fucking palettes look so beautiful. I fucking love Nabla eyeshadows. I think Nabla is such an underrated brand because their products are bomb. Nabla is, in my mind, I don't know if this is accurate or not, but it's like Nabla is like Italy's version of drugstore. So it's like, you're getting bomb ass makeup. And you know what? Their packaging is bomb. Like, if you considered Nabla drugstore, it blows our drugstore brands out of the fucking water. Because it's always like, I feel like our drugstore products here in the U.S., they don't invest in packaging. And to me, like, that's a huge thing when it comes to products. So it's like, all right, what are we going to have in here? Two cutie palettes. They both look so beautiful. I love them. Uh, the Cupid Arrow. It's a multi-use stylo pencil with a long-lasting pigment. So it's like a, an eyeshadow stick. That's what I'm going to call it. The Viper Lip Plumper. And then the Body Glow Oil. How much is this? Does it say what the price is on this yet? It's usually, I feel like it's usually in like the $50 price point. I'm going to get this. 100%. If you guys would want a video on this, if I do end up getting it, let me know. But I got the last Trend Mood box with Nabla. I didn't love everything, but I'm like, it's still worth the price that you're paying for it. And I love the fact that they do like new products that are exclusive, but then they still sell them. You know, sometimes when brands like team up with a box sort of a thing, it's like exclusive to that only. Typically, Nabla sell like they'll probably still sell these palettes individually so I do plan on getting this oh my god Tracy says she wants to try their highlighters bomb their highlighters are incredible those like that formula I forget the exact name of it it's got the highlighters the bronzers the blushes the bronzers aren't my favorite but the blushes and highlighters chef's kiss love it and I just I love everything about Nabla. Yes, very pretty. Mo, you would love that blue one. I know you'd love a blue eyeshadow. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, all right, trend mood, you're probably gonna take my money. And then I saw this palette and I'm like, bitch, fuck me up. Okay. I have yet to try everything from Alien Cosmetics, but first of all, look at this packaging. It's so fucking cute. I can't. So this is the not normal coming soon from Alien Cosmetics. So it's a not normal palette. So I saw this and I'm like, oh, bitch. And then I scrolled and I'm like, oh, bitch. I love this. I love, 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 love this palette. It's so grungy, but neutral. It just has like everything. It's got purple. It's got green. This is the per Alien Cosmetics. You still here? I know you were here. Did you make this for me? Because <laughs> it is so beautiful. And then they hit us with the swatches. And I'm like, oh, let me just say this. Okay. Like when I see these swatches, it doesn't, it doesn't really like speak to me. But it's because I felt the textures and I've swatched Alien in real life. That has me like, oh, this is going to be dope. This to me is going to be such a good palette. And I can't wait. So this one, there you are. <laughs> this one, I'm just like, yup, take my money. Do we have a price on this one? 
Let us know price, because I don't think I saw that posted. It, look at, even, I need, you can see my comment, I need it. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited for that one. I'm just like, oh, bitch, they're finally doing, because Alien Cosmetics always does, like, colorful story, or, like, more colorful eyeshadows. So I'm like, listen, I love a good colorful eye from time to time, but neutrals is, is my shit. And then as soon as I saw that, I'm like, <laughs> and then that packaging, I, I just... You know what? You know how I always say, I'm like, I feel like if you were to wrap me up in a brand, it would be Mel. I feel like Alien Cosmetics has that for me too. Like, I'm just like, I love the aesthetic. I love just, I just love the vibe. And I feel like that's where I'm just like, yep. Okay, so no price yet. Details coming soon. <laughs> I made this for me. <laughs> We're the same person. <laughs> I love it. I cannot wait to see that palette. So, that will be coming eventually to my channel because I'm going to fucking buy it as soon as it launches, as long as I don't miss it. And then we have Miss Sonya G. Yes. <laughs> Sonya G is launching new brushes. Let's see. I'm... I'm so surprised, like, why these makeup accounts haven't shared these brushes or the next product that I'm going to talk about as well. So, we are getting ready to launch these brushes Tuesday, June 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Beautylish. The set of five brushes for creams and liquids cost $225. They are not limited edition. But are they sold individually, though? Oh, and they'll be available individually. <laughs> Yes. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. So for me, I don't love natural hair brushes for creams and liquids. Okay. I love natural hair for eyeshadows. So if she's launching eyeshadows or not eyeshadows, if she's launching eyeshadow brushes, it doesn't look like, it looks like they're all, fuck. It looks like they're all face brushes. I haven't looked into the details of this one yet. I'm just very confused at why no other, like, no new makeup accounts have shared these. At least that I've seen. So that's where I was like, oh yeah, I almost forgot that these were launching. Mm-hmm. Kara, I know. They are they are so expensive, but it's like the craftsmanship of Sonya G is truly spectacular. Like, this is one of my favorite brushes, the Worker Pro. It's just, it's another level, like, experience, quality her brushes are worth the price, especially if they're sold individually. I think she does make fantastic brushes, but if it's for face, I'm not going to get it. Uh, wait, let me rephrase this. If it's for your like base products, like your foundation concealer, I don't like natural hair for that. I love natural hair for powders, like for blush, highlight, not cream blush, not cream highlight. No. No. It has to be natural hair for powders for me. So that's where I'm like, um, um, yep, same. BK brushes for cream products, same. Yep, 100%. They're part synthetic? They are? If they're part synthetic, then why are they so expensive? I'm going to have to look more into that one. But they're launching on the 22nd. So tomorrow. Are you picking them up? Let me... All right. Let's pull up the actual, like, what kind of brushes they are. So you've got a jumbo base, a classic base, a mini base, soft concealer, and jumbo concealer. I... No. I wouldn't get any of these. Because they're... It looks like they're designed for... Um, Basically every step that I don't want to use natural hair brushes for. But if they're, yeah, if they're part synthetic, then I feel like they should be, I feel like they should be less expensive. But then the nosy bitch in me is like, I want to try them to know if I would like them or not. But I don't think I'm willing to take that risk financially. <laughs> Unless you guys were like, Brittany, review them. But I'm sure there's other creators out there like I know Alicia she always does Sonya G videos and she's like my favorite person to, to watch when it comes to brushes 
that would be the channel that I'd be like, if you want to know info about these brushes, because I think she are, did she already post her video? It's Kinky Sweat. She's so detailed. She always does comparisons. She's, again, one of my favorite people to watch for brushes. And Michelle Wong's another one. She does excellent brush videos because they're so knowledgeable. I'm just over here like, I just want to know if they work. I don't look into like the nitty gritty details and shit like that like they do. That would be where I would direct you for, um, for those types of videos. And then Wayne Goss. Wayne Goss coming through. Looks like with a mascara. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Just because I want to have everything. I want to know when the fucker his blush is going to restock. I want to try his blush highlighter formula. I don't love the contour bronzer. But everything else I love. So if he's launching. I What else could it be? I mean. I, I guess I don't. I don't know. But I'm over here like. Okay he's launching a mascara. When's it launching? It says coming soon. Here's what I would suggest. Let me chew my grape. Turn on your notifications for the Beautylish app. If you have a smartphone. I get notifications before even like Wayne posted this. I got notification from Beautylish that Wayne Goss is launching something. So if you're nosy, again, like me, I would suggest doing that. But I'm over here like, yup. Yup. I love his products. More times than that. His lip glosses, his lipsticks, lip liners. Gosh, eyeshadow palettes. The bronzer, the bronzer is the only thing that I don't love. But that's it. Everything else, I'm just like, yup. I would love to see him do complexion. I would fucking love it. You know who else I want to see do complexion? Makeup geek. Uh-huh. Definitely makeup geek. So guys, that is everything that I had to chitty chat about for this week's new makeup releases. What did you guys think of everything that we talked about? It's definitely... Or a brow cream. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. It does look like a mascara, though. So, all right. I gotta go to work now. But I would love for you guys to, first of all, like, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed yourself. We have 178 people watching and 69 thumbs ups. Guys, I will wait for those thumbs ups. All right? I'm gonna need you to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications, join me live whenever the hell I feel like it because we're a shit show over here. So I've got, let's see what's coming up. Norvina palette, Sydney Grace, Temptalia palettes, Alien Cosmetics. we got a bunch of shit coming up, guys. I'll be pumping out content this week, but if you like just these videos, we come back every single Monday. And we're just here to talk all the, all the shit about the new makeup. One of these days, I'll get that phrase right. We're just here to talk all the shit about the new makeup releases. There we go. Got it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye!